I have been putting this video off for a very long time now. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I've needed to tell you guys, or at least just tell somebody, and I felt really, um, I don't know, isolated in more ways than one just because of the virus thing going on, of course. Uh, but, I mean, that doesn't change too much because of my recent job situation where I'm stuck at home anyway now. Um, I don't have time to get into all that not going well. You know, the drill. I've given you updates and stuff. Nothing ever goes right. But um, there's geez, something that's been bothering me a lot um, more than that um, lately. And... Uh, Man, I can't even keep eye contact with the, the, the stupid webcam. That's... Eh, I'll get to that in a bit. Um, so, how do I even get to this? I, I haven't even told a lot of people um, close to me about this just yet. Um, I, I'm i probably going to tell them before this video goes live. I don't even know if I'm going to post this or how long I'm going to leave it live. If I'm going to take it down immediately. Because I, I don't even know what I'm going to say. This is obviously one of those unedited things. I just need to talk for a bit and hopefully find somebody out there who can relate to whatever I'm dealing with and um, maybe, I don't know, I can help you guys somehow. That's usually what I try and do. I turn this back around and see if I can find some way to help you guys, but it's usually that I, I need help from you all because I feel like in my real life I have just lost all of my own friends, let people down, and driven people away unintentionally and uh, just... I don't know. Don't feel good. Ever. Yay. Um, so, anyway, um, I guess uh, there's really a lot of things going on, but specifically this one thing is driving me crazy right now, and um, it involves um, me trying to figure out, like, why am I different than everybody else? And I've always wondered that. I always thought I was just, I'm just this way. It's just me. Um, everyone's just got their own little quirks, everybody's different, and, um, recently, uh, and by recently, I mean, like, several weeks ago, maybe not even several, maybe just a couple, it, it, I don't know, time's not really working anymore in my head, um, that, uh, Kim pointed out to me a lot of stuff that I was doing, uh, either to people or in groups, uh, saying stuff, acting certain ways that I didn't realize at all, um, she'd even point this out to me in moments where um, I had just done something, and I'd say, no, what are you talking about? Um, and I had no idea what she was, I honestly had no idea. Um, so uh, she kind of cataloged a bunch of things down, and um, I looked through them, and I found that the correlation between all that stuff, um, it, it's extremely likely that I have some form of autism, which sounds crazy to say. Um, it would be, land from what I'm guessing, it's landing somewhere on the, the what used to be called Asperger's Syndrome. Um, it's not called that anymore from what I've seen. It's They just lumped it together with uh, the, whatever they, what are they, Autism Spectrum Disorder, which, if anything, just, I don't know, it, it feels humiliating, because I've gone through my whole life thinking I was completely normal, I had the same chance as everybody else did, and instead of people, and this is the part that really has been upsetting me, instead of, like, the people, how do I even say this, on everything I've been reading online about this, trying to find, like, a list of symptoms so I can see, or like traits or something like that, so I can find something on the list that is very much not me. That way I could go, ha, huh, I don't have this. I'm perfectly fine. Uh, no, if anything, um, I've even gone through some totally not official like tests and stuff online, and I knew they were not official. I've been trying to get an appointment in with a psychiatrist or psychologist, or whatever works with our insurance, and um, because of the virus, it's been put off for a very long time, things keep getting canceled, uh, referrals are really hard to get right now, so um, I've just been like stewing in this at home alone for weeks, um, and it's probably why I haven't been able to jump on and make videos um, lately, I don't want to fake being happy, um, so if that makes sense, uh, but anyway, I, I derailed a bit. I, the thing that was really bothering me is all those tests and stuff and everything I was reading online, every single one of them always pointed out and said, it's very rare for someone to get to um, 
uh, like 20, 20 plus at all, just being an adult in general, and um, still not know. And because they said there's always their, their parents, the rest of their family, their friends, their teachers, any loved ones, they always are there and find something. And they pointed out early on, I think the average age, I said, was somewhere around like 7 to 11. And they get this thing diagnosed. And they, they help the child through development so that they're able to get over these things. I'm 28. I'm finding it out by myself. And if anything, I just feel like... Of all those times that I I'm, I have a list, actually, I'm going to pull it up in a bit if I have time. I don't want to ramble on too long. Um, of all these things that apparently I'm doing, um, I remember all the instances when when I was growing up, I would just get yelled at for acting this way or, or hit or uh, I don't want to get into all that. Just, But that's not the way you deal with this. If anything, it's, it's, it's just made things worse. And... Um, I uh, thought it was just me. I've been, like, trying to get over all of this um, just from, like, I don't know, we're recoiling from it because I know um, from growing up I'd get screamed at uh, or humiliated for acting like the way I just am and I can't help. Um, so I hope that there's somebody out there who can at least relate to all this. Fortunately, a friend of mine, um, I have very few, Um but, uh, I mean, in real life, I'm obviously, I'm not talking about any of you guys, um, because I have spoken with a lot of you guys for, uh, quite a while, actually, um, online, and, like, in real life, physical people that I know, um, I would say that I've only got two friends left, if you don't count Kim, um, and one of them, Kim just knew from work, <laughs> um, and he's actually been dealing with this same thing, so I've been able to talk to him about this, and, um, my other good friend is Matt, who um, at this point, as I'm filming this, I haven't even gotten a good chance to talk to him about it. I want to talk to him in person, but of course the virus is being another problem. Um, so I'm not going to post this till I talk to him first. I want to make sure that I get a chance to apologize for the way I've been because I feel so bad about, I don't know. I, I feel like I've just upset people on accident. I might have done the same to you even watching this. If you, maybe you join me for a live stream and you type something in and uh, my, my default reaction, the thing I say is just, totally insulting and I didn't like I, I can't hear I can't process the the way that that happened I don't know it's so hard to explain um I'm gonna go through this list and I'm gonna say like the things on this list they kind of remind me or they make the way they make me feel they make me feel like um I heard this radio lab once it's a podcast if you guys don't know what it is um and there was this story they told I don't remember exactly what happened to this guy he might have been in a car accident or something but um Afterward, uh, he had like some serious head trauma and he was talking really slowly and it was hard for him to speak and articulate. Um, but a friend of his felt really bad and was always with him. I don't remember how often, but they were over all the time. And um, they were together for like a couple years after this accident, doing stuff every weekend. And eventually um, he wanted to like start recording and do, I don't know, singing and do covers and stuff. Um, and it was only then when he heard his voice back in a recording, he's like, that's what I sound like? He had no idea the whole time, for years. He thought his friend was just being nice and staying with him. He thought nothing was wrong with him. It's like his brain, even though he was talking at like one third normal speed and slurring words hard, his brain didn't hear it. And that's what all this feels like because I don't see any of this at all. That's why I feel like it all hit me like a bombshell. I have, n I didn't know any of this at all. Um, maybe some of you guys would have seen some of it, like I said, on live streams. And if that's the case, I'm sorry, because they're not good things if that happened. Um, I don't even know. Um, hopefully, there's no personal stuff she wrote in here. I don't think so. Um, but uh, we'll... We'll see. I just want to, like, open this up quickly, just so I can, like, pull through some of these things and, like, kind of discuss this, because... There's a lot of weird stuff, and I want to, if anything, find a reason why this isn't true. Um, because, like I said, if it weren't for the dumb virus right now, I'd be able to just get in with somebody and find out, yes, this is what you have. Then I can go, okay, now I feel like I just need to go around and talk to people, apologize, try and figure out how I, where do I go from here, I need to get help. 
or no, there's nothing wrong, you're fine, you're just freaking out. It's just a huge coincidence, and every test you've ever taken online that you maxed out the scales on and said, you definitely need help, there's something just wrong with their tests. I mean, they're unofficial, so I'm not taking their word for any of that stuff. That's why I'm obviously not coming on saying, I have this problem, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I have a long list of things that I need worked on, though. Anyway, I'm going to scoot over to the side a bit. I'm, I'm going to be reading this um, at the same time, so hopefully uh, this doesn't look like a giant brick of text, which it kind of is, but this is literally all of it. Um, so apparently I have difficulty reading emotional situations, so like might laugh when someone's angry. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. And I know I do that. Like uh, making fun of something that shouldn't be picked on in a social setting. Yeah, the thing is like in videos... You guys all assume I'm being sarcastic, and I honestly am. I'm like, there's a thing in me, like, uh, just I can't. I don't have time to describe how bad it was for me growing up, um, especially in uh, the first eight years in the like, grade school. It was horrible. It was a living hell, and I tried my best to just make sure that if if I could do anything, I just want to make sure that I can make people happy, make people laugh somehow, and. With that part of my brain turned off, I feel like I'm just pissing people off. Trying to make things better, and I'm just making things worse. So, I keep thinking of that, that kid who can't hear back the situation. You know what I mean? Like, that... I don't know. Difficulty getting Alex's attention to and focus on what I or someone else might be saying. It might take several attempts to get him to look at you or acknowledge you've said something. You guys don't see this very much because obviously there's very little back and forth when you're physically a camera in my room. I can just keep talking. <clears throat> ah, like that. And I, I don't understand when it's my turn to talk in a normal situation. I'll just sit there and wait and I might change the topic back to what I was going to say earlier. Like I'll look shelf something. I don't know. I, I cannot organically talk to somebody. I can go on really long tangents by myself. That's about it. So anyway, uh, does not typically show expressions when greatly upset. Keeps the same expressions. Uh, it's like telling a sad story. Usually doesn't change expressions or empathize. Uh, you might not even have his attention. You probably have no idea how I feel right now. Um, I haven't slept in hmm, more than four hours straight. I have not slept in about two weeks at least. Um, my I don't know if you can see it because it's actually kind of bright in here. My my eyes are really dark and red. Um, though it is the morning, so hopefully I'm I'm looking a little bit better. But um, yeah, I uh, I'm I I feel like I've fallen down a flight of stairs like. Leaning Tower of Pisa, like spiral stairs that is going forever. And um, I, I'm smiling. Like, why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, lack of understanding of body language. Yeah, that's bad. And um, of course, that's another thing that you're probably not going to see as much on here. So I don't know. I hope this isn't as much of a shock to you guys. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys know this stuff already. You're like, yeah, there's probably something there. Anyway, doesn't know when someone's tired of trying to leave unless you directly tell them. Yeah, I, I need to be told a lot of things. <sighs> Little to no empathy for other people or creatures. Lack of touch won't hug or hold someone if they're upset, for example. Yeah, um, yeah, that's bad. Um, and I, I knew that was a problem, um, but I, and I know that is also a trait for a lot of other really bad stuff. So I tried ignoring that, but apparently, um, because I didn't prompt Kim to write any of these. She was just trying to help the psychiatrist with all the issues. She said she was also, for the record, she was also very not happy. Um, she felt really bad, is what she said, having to make a list like this. She felt like she was just listing all of my problems. I was like, it's, I need somebody to do it. Because I can't write this, you know? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what to do. Anyway, I clearly, literally, no, Will not wear certain shirts because of the type of fabric. <laughs> Describes a lot of different fabrics as burlap sacks. Okay. I didn't know that was relevant to this at all. But there are certain kinds of things I cannot touch at all. I think I had this pencil bag in grade school. Actually, um, yeah, just grade school. I, I, I think I got rid of it because I hated it so much. I don't know what it was made of. But imagine like, like a plasticky fabric that's woven like lenticular. You know, where it's kind of ribbed? 
and I couldn't touch it. If I touched it, it was like a bolt of lightning, like zing through my hand or something. Or like it was like chewing on tinfoil, but with my fingers. It's like, ah, I couldn't touch it. Ugh. Apparently that's a thing here. I thought that was just a stupid, obscure thing like me. And I have some shirts that have a feeling that are like, oh God, I got to take them off and I can't wear them. And um, I guess that's an issue too. Uh, scents that are usually commonplace cough is annoying or disgusting. Yeah, example, the smash of fr smell of fresh air outside will keep them indoors during the summer. Yeah, I absolutely cannot stand the smell of what she calls fresh air. If that's really what fresh air smells like, it's disgusting. I can't stand it. It makes me go like, oh god, I have to shut all of my windows, I close my door. Probably a reason why it gets so hot in here <laughs> during the summer. Uh, refuses to file nails, described as vibrating bones. Oh god. Oh god, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's probably why I have a, a bad habit of, like, picking at nails and shredding them. And, yeah, my, my hands don't look so good. Let's hope the focus doesn't move to that. Does not adapt well to change in plans. Increases anxiety. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that so much. Um, I'm very schedule-based. I gotta do the same things in the same order. Uh, it's why for how many years? Like, five years straight I had a video a day on my channel and it would all follow to a specific regimented schedule. Um, it is driving me so crazy right now, you have no idea, with nothing on my schedule except a weekly playing with myself episode. And I'm supposed to be doing live streams with you guys, but to be fair, this is bothering me, this is why I'm not doing it, I'm trying to explain everything. Um, but still, it's like, uh, uncomfortable. I can't even relax on vacations. We haven't gone in years because we haven't had money. But um, remember a couple years ago, um, geez, this was every year of my life though. Every time uh, my family would go down to say like Florida, for example, to the beach, I couldn't just stay there. There's like, what am I doing? And I'd have to look around like, I, I gotta do something. I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Always moving legs in a jittering motion while sitting. I try my best to not do that. Like I, I've always thought about that when I'm recording so that my camera doesn't do this, you know? So I know that's a problem um, and it makes the videos unwatchable. So I, I've tried to stop that one. I'm conscious of that one at least enough. I've known I've always done that because it makes noise and it shakes chairs, couches. It, it irritates people. Um, uh, usually intensely focused on one interest for weeks to months at a time. Yeah, that's something you guys probably don't really notice as much. Um, or maybe you do. I don't know if, if you join a lot of, like, live streams where, like, all conversations he tries to steer in a certain topic will ignore other topics and conversations. There's rarely a break from one interest to the next, but they're always intense. Yeah, that's, um, that's a big thing. Uh, I'll just, like, get totally absorbed in something. And uh, to make it a little bit better, what I've been trying to get absorbed in lately, um, is, uh, my graphic novel. I've been putting a lot of work into that lately. Um, I am, like, halfway through chapter two, and I think the last time I streamed with you guys, I was just, like, starting chapter two. And it's a lot of work, so... That's kind of good. Um, we'll talk loud and sound irritated when he's not. I know this is a big problem. Making him sound very angry. This has made people he's around uncomfortable and assume that he's really upset. I've spoken with him after, and he thinks he doesn't sound upset or angry at all. That's a big one that, like, like the guy hearing himself in the recording, I didn't know that. And I, I hear it back from her, and I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm fine. And other people are looking at me like, like okay, I, why? Well, what, did, what did I say? How did I, I don't know. I, I don't know how that one I'm ever going to fix because I can't see it while it's happening. Uh, difficulty with verbal instructions doesn't usually think of the common sense answer, but instead takes the instruction to the literal sense. Yeah, that one I think you might go, you might have seen the most actually with like maybe games where I need to do something that to you guys seemed really obvious, and then, like, I just completely misinterpreted what the game was trying to tell me, or what characters are trying to say with instructions or something, and it, it's over my head. I just didn't get it. Um, that happens a lot, and in real life, that's a really big problem. Um, seems to lack the understanding of other persons being sarcastic and takes statements to be offensive. Yeah, and that really sucks when you're going through YouTube comments or, I don't know, you're going through college and grad school to try and get an art degree. Yeah, that explains a lot, and it's still awful. Cool. 
dwells obsessively on certain topics or incidents causing a depressive mood. She's referring to something that I am not going to get into here. I, we have no time. I've, I've already gone way, way too long that I expected to do, and I'm sorry that I even kept you this long. Um, well, thanks for staying, if you even care this much. I, I'm sorry I'm wasting so much of your time. Um, has had a lot of difficulty keeping friendships with no explanation as to why the friend no longer wants to speak with him. Yep. Um, that's almost all of my friends from high school. Um, all of them from college, and, uh, the few people who I knew from grad school. That's, that's a lot. So, um, I don't know what the deal is. I'm sure it's because of everything on, uh, everything above that I just didn't know what I was doing. Avoids eye contact with people during conversation. You're not even physically here, and I can't even look at the camera. So I pointed that one out earlier. Cannot focus on multiple projects at once. Example, can't watch TV and play a card game. Oh my god, that <laughs> that's a thing. Oh my god, that's so bad. So, like, say I'm trying to work on something. Say it's say it's even something really simple. Like, um, I am just gonna uh, clean up dust, um, maybe Windex some windows, and reorganize some figures downstairs, okay? And it's in the living room. Kim is also in the living room. Say she's working on some project, maybe making dinner, and she wants to put TV on, okay? I cannot clean while that's on. I can't do anything while that's on. And it's not like I'm addicted to the TV. TV doesn't have to be a good example here. Could be anything. Um, she could be playing a video game, and I'm trying to work on something else. I'm trying to ignore what she's doing. Okay, that's also the television again. Um, but still, I, I cannot segment my attention and just like peripherally absorb what's going on over there and do something else. I have to, my head just says 100% one thing or another thing. You can't both. So I'm either completely ignoring what she's doing or I'm completely paying attention to that, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just feel like that's, I thought that's what everybody, this whole list, I thought that's what everybody was like. Tends to avoid conversation or social settings or leaving the house in general. Yeah, well, once again, you probably wouldn't have seen that one, but at least I can get rid of all that text now. Um, so I don't really know what to do with all of that. Um, we were, I've had several appointments canceled now that, well, just one actually, one straight up appointment canceled. I'm not going to get into all that nonsense, but at least I can't get in to talk to anybody because of what's going on. And um, it's clearly doing a number on my brain, so I'm not feeling very good. I really wanted to stream with you guys. I, I still may soon. I don't know. I just didn't want to say something like this, like start it on a live stream without fully explaining everything and um, just making it so we can consolidate that stuff in one spot right here and not dwell on it while we're trying to have fun playing the game. Because I don't want to ruin the game. Uh, for the record, the next games I know I got to get back into. We're gonna live stream and play Ori in the Blind Forest. I'm gonna finish Shovel Knight. I have a new game uh, sent to me from uh, Rowan. Thanks again for that. We're gonna be playing that hopefully soon. Um, I, I've got several things that I want to play with you guys, and of course, uh, every week I'm working on playing with myself episodes. I've been working hard to make sure that you still get those. Um, for the record, I did move this one back. Uh, this week to Friday instead. It had nothing to do with the fact that I was definitely really preoccupied this week. It's fine. I think Friday's a better day for us anyway if I'm only releasing one a week. So, it's good. Um, I think. I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. I, I didn't have a plan for this video. I, I'm Like I said, I'm not even editing it. I, I'm just making this really long raw video and I'm throwing it on YouTube. And um, if it gets too popular, too many people see this, or the wrong people see this, it's probably coming down. Um, I don't have a problem with that. So, anyway, um, I guess thanks for spending this much time with me. I, I, I really appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that I do have some friends online, uh, who do care about me. I, I, it's so hard for me to understand that because there were some bits in there. Like, I, I, my, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know. I thought everybody else was like this, and I, uh. Just finding out now that, like, I've been, I don't know, forcing this my whole life or trying to be something that I'm not and not understanding what I am and not getting real help with anything just feels really humiliating and unfair. Mostly unfair. Yeah, so. Anyway. 
I'm out. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this. Um, I'll, I guess I'll talk with you guys down in the comments or over on Discord, wherever this moves. Uh, but I'm going to see you guys in the next video or live stream. I swear they're coming soon. Booyah!